Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about Lyra, Acrobake, Devotion, and Unknown Pleasures. So these fragrances all kind of have similarities. They're all on the market and people have been asking like which do you think is better? So I thought I would do a comparison video. I'm so excited about this but before I get started if you haven't subscribed just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. And without further ado, let's get into this. So I think what I'll do is just talk about each one, tell you what I smell. Then we can talk about them together, talk about uh, whether I think they're redundant or whether you could have all of them in your collection, which ones I like the best, all of that good stuff. So the thing that all these fragrances have in common is the lemon, for sure. So the lemon is present in all of them. Uh, let's start with Unknown Pleasures. Unknown Pleasures opens with this amazing, bright yet substantial lemon oil note. So it's it says lemon in the on Fragrantica, but it smells like uh, the lemon rind, lemon oil. If you've ever smelled straight up lemon essential oil, it has that feeling. So it's a lot more thick. Uh, a lot more dense feeling. There's a slight kind of bitter edge to it. That said, it's so delicious. Like it's so, so good. So you have this mouthwatering lemon and off the cuff, that's what you get mainly. You get the bright, bright lemon. It makes your mouth water. Like you get, it, it puckers you up right here. As it dries down, you start to get this delicious caramel start to uh, form in, in the fragrance. So what it feels like is you've got this thick kind of uh, very, like it, you know how if you make a lemon dessert, you can have kind of a fake lemon dessert or you can actually grate lemon rind into it. That's the feel that you get. So it's this smooth, delicious lemon, but it's like you've taken this lemon tart, tart, tart custard with lemon oil in it. And then you start to drizzle caramel all over that and then kind of mix it all together but thick thick deep rich caramel that's kind of what you're getting in this now although it's uh you know that sounds uber gourmand and uber sweet the sweet and the tartness really balance so you're left with this just mouth-watering concoction there's some black tea in this as well so you get kind of this lemon custard saturated in caramel, ribbons of caramel throughout it. Uh, but then there's this black tea that just kind of, it smells quite dry, uh, but it, it just kind of creates this complexity in it that's absolutely intoxicating. This is such a freaking delicious fragrance. As it dries down, that tea, that caramel, the vanilla, all of those different things kind of combine uh, to, to have kind of a subtle smokiness, but that lemon oil is always present. And I find it very, very addictive. So that lemon oil just really works for me. Love it. Now in the deep, deep dry down, what you're getting more so is just that vanilla. So vanilla really comes out to play in the dry, deep dry down. You don't really ever lose that lemon, but it definitely backs off and the vanilla takes center stage. This is such a gorgeous fragrance. It makes my mouth water. I'm obsessed with it, honestly. Actually, let's just get that out of the way. I love all of these. They're all amazing. So it's going to be tough for me to rank them, but definitely uh, love Unknown Pleasures. It's such a beautiful fragrance. It's sophisticated gourmand, in my opinion. Next, let's talk about Devotion. If I had to describe Devotion, I would describe it as a citrus vanilla. Uh, the citrus is very present. The fragrance is a little bit more simple. It's not as complex uh, as Unknown Pleasures, but it is very mouthwatering. The opening has candied lemon. It has orange blossom in it, panna cotta, rum, and vanilla. So when I first put this fragrance on, it's definitely less lemony than any of the other fragrances in the opening. So in the opening, the lemon is paired with that orange blossom. The orange blossom is very present. So it's kind of a lemon floral. Uh, so the opening is not my favorite, honestly. It's nice, but it's not my favorite. Now, as this dries out, it's almost as if the candied lemon starts to cut, rise to the top. So the floral kind of dissipates 
and you get this kind of mouth-watering lemon candy smell. And it does. It, to me, it smells like those hard lemon candies. Like my mouth is watering just thinking about it. Very, very sweet, but lemony, bright, happy. It's just a very nice, zingy, beautiful lemon, but definitely more candy-like. Now, as it dries down, you get that kind of like panna cotta to me is a little bit more creamy. All of these have kind of a little bit of a creamy feel or like uh, custard. Some of them smell a little bit custard-like. Some of them smell a little bit cake-like. This one smells a little bit more custardy. Uh, so you definitely get that paired with that vanilla. I don't notice a whole lot of booziness in here. As the fragrance dries down, the candied lemon kind of comes down and the vanilla comes up. I don't get necessarily a whole lot of booziness, but just a beautiful kind of mouth-watering lemon candy vanilla. Um, it's so, so nice. I find it relaxing. Uh, I find it happy. I find it just a fun fragrance to wear. Uh, I don't consider this overly complex, but it's just good. Like it's a really, really great fragrance. The performance is excellent on it too. I find this one projects half decent and it still has the same kind of vibe that the rest of these have, even though it's a little bit more of a simpler fragrance. So really, really impressed with this. Really love that lemon paired with the vanilla. It's so, so delicious. I also find that Devotion is probably the sweetest to my nose. Uh, these are all really quite sweet as far as fragrances go, but I find with that floral in there somehow, it feels almost sweeter, especially in the opening. It feels less tart than it does sweet. As it dries down, you get more of that tartness coming out, but it's still the least tart lemon because it's more of that sweet candied lemon feel. So I hope that makes sense. Now, the next fragrance I have is Acro Bake. Now, um, I got this sample from Mitra. She has a huge Facebook group on, uh, on Facebook. <laughs> She's awesome, and it's a great community full of really positive fragrance lovers. So I will leave it linked down below. You have to request to be part of the group. But if you're into fragrances, she's got some rules and stuff like that. Uh, she wants to keep the community really positive. So you can discuss all things fragrance there. It's a great community, super positive. So I'll leave that linked down below so that you can check it out. I did a live with her uh, about a month ago, somewhere around there, talking about fragrance. So uh, she was really nice and the community is really great. So if you're looking for more uh, fragrance people, that would be a great place to check out. So Acro Bake, to me, the lemon in this one was probably the tartest and the clearest, and it smelt like lemon juice. So where Unknown Pleasures smelt like lemon oil, uh, Bake to me smelt like lemon juice. So even though it's it smelt like lemon juice to me, the note on Fragrantica says lemon zest, but to me, it was definitely more lemon juice, a little bit clearer. It also has rum, whipped cream, praline, bourbon, vanilla, and brown sugar. So I found Bake to be literally scrumptious. I, I loved it. Um, it's definitely got the brightest lemon. And to me, it's less complex again than Unknown Pleasures. So I found it the complexity to be similar to Devotion. So it's kind of got just the lemon and vanilla mainly going on. That said, Bake felt like a lemon tart. Uh, so a little bit of that crust feel in there uh, or a pastry feel um, as opposed to more of a custard. This felt more like a pastry somehow, um, but I don't get tons of pastry. It's mainly just that delicious mouth-watering lemon and vanilla as well. I feel like it's the clearest uh, of all of them. So some of them smell a little bit more dense. Some of them smell a little bit more, I don't know, somehow creamy. This one smells a little bit more clear, if that makes sense. So brighter, I guess, would be what I would say. That said, the vanilla is still present and it smells like a dessert. Um, I absolutely love Bake. It's the, the lemon is similar to Unknown Pleasures, but I find it a little bit more... Uh, a little bit more tart, a little bit more like juice as opposed to Unknown Pleasures, which has a little bit of a bitterness to it. Uh, but it's delicious. It's not complex, but it is absolutely mouthwatering for sure. And the last one is Lyra from the Cosmorati line of Zerzhov. Now, 
This one I always associated with lemon, like a, a smoky lemon pound cake. So the lemon slice or the lemon cake at Starbucks, that kind of pound cake with just a hint of kind of almost like a smokiness somehow. I don't know why. I think it's the lavender actually. Uh, but that's the vibe I get, this kind of baking feel. Now, interestingly, I always associated it with lemon. Lyra doesn't actually have lemon. It has blood orange and bergamot. The bergamot is definitely citrusy and more kind of lemony or limey, um, depending. Uh, so you still get that in here, but it definitely wasn't the same sort of vibe as the full-on lemon fragrances. This was a little bit more of a warm, uh, sweeter, not so bright and lemony. It had a little bit more softness. This one has the caramel in it as well, which I definitely get, but this one has a little bit more spice in it. So this one has cinnamon. It's got that lavender, which kind of gives it a really interesting edge. This I would say is probably the most complex out of all four of them. It's less tart than all of them, but still very sweet. It's got a bit more of a powdery feel, but absolutely mouth-watering. Uh, this one, to me, still feels like a, a lemon cake. Uh, so definitely more of a cakey feel. It's the most uh, dense and probably the most rich out of the, the four. So the simpler fragrances would be Acrobake and Devotion. The more complex of the, the four is Lyra and Unknown Pleasures. Whereas Acrobake and Devotion, even though they're not complex, they're still very interesting and they still have a bit of development that goes on. They're not totally linear. Uh, out of all of them, I would say Acrobake is the most linear out of them all. So you're getting kind of a, a lemon, almost pastry feel to it that kind of stays for the whole entire wear of the perfume. The lemon kind of backs off a little bit, but basically it's like a, a tart lemon pastry. Devotion is a little bit more of a candied lemon custard, uh, more so with that vanilla. Lyra is more like a lemon cake. And Unknown Pleasures, it's just kind of like a sumptuous and kind of complex uh, lemon caramel custard that you would get in some sort of like five-star hotel, like something really unique. If I were to rate these, I think, honestly, I would put Acro Bake at the bottom. I love it. Like, I, I think it's amazing, uh, but it was the most linear to me. It's very, very mouthwatering, but someone has to be in the bottom. So this one, it would be at the bottom, but it's so stellar. Like, it's delicious. Next would be Devotion by Dolce & Gabbana. The reason why this one kind of made it in ahead of uh, Bake is that I think it's really wearable. It's a lot more accessible for people uh, to get their hands on. You still get that lemon. You still get the vanilla. It's still mouth-watering, um, but it's a little bit richer to me than Bake. So yeah, that's why it would be number three. Coming in at number two would be Lyra. This is my ride or die. I absolutely love this fragrance. I find it really cozy. Uh, it's just an enjoyable wear. I love smelling myself in this. Like it's just cozy, it's delicious, it's mouthwatering. It's also a little bit sophisticated, so I absolutely love this fragrance. But number one has to go to Unknown Pleasures. It has stolen my heart. That bitter lemon that's in here, it's so bizarre. It's, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. It's the least cloying to me out of all of these, although I don't find any of them really cloying, but you know what I mean. Uh, I love that bitterness that I get in the lemon of this one. I just found it, find it so intriguing and interesting. I love the tea in here. I love the caramel. I just think that this is freaking amazing. There is a smokiness in this fragrance as well somehow that reminds me of Lyra. So these are pretty darn close. This just has a little bit more lemon in it uh, than this one feel, feels like. So this one's definitely got a more lemon edge. I actually think this one lasts a bit longer, uh, but they're pretty darn close. Love both of these, honestly. Honestly, you can't go wrong with any of these. If you're looking for kind of a lemon dessert type fragrance, these are all amazing. Unknown Pleasures, probably the most pricey. Uh, definitely, I would say the most sophisticated. Lyra is amazing, but they're all fantastic, solid releases. Do I think you need them all? 
Well, nobody needs them all, but I don't feel that any of them are redundant. So if I had the coin, I would want all of these in my collection, honestly. I think they're all fantastic standalone fragrances. They're not redundant, even though they have the lemon in there. Each one is very unique and I literally love them all. What about you? Have you tried any of them? If you have, weigh in. If you've tried all of them, definitely tell them, tell us what you think and rate them. Tell me which ones you think is best. All of them will be linked down below. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.